Hi everyone, this is Suman from Decode now. Welcome to the lecture series on building a Spring Boot application to perform basic CRUD operations. So before diving into the video where we connect to our H2 database, let's look at the tasks that we have already completed and marked as completed. So downloading and installing both Java as well as IntelliJ IDEA is completed. And Getting the Spring Initializer project from Spring Initializer tool is also completed. So the next step which is pending is uh, setting up the in-memory database and uh, connecting our Spring Boot application to this H2 database that we will be taking care in this uh, current video. So, so in this video, we'll be learning about uh, H2 database. Why is it also called as in-memory database? and all the dependency that we that is required uh, to connect to this h2 database and also configurations that we need to mention in application.properties file and we'll also learn about what is uh, application.properties file so let's jump into the video so what is h2 database h2 is basically an open source relational database management system written in java so for this uh, Spring Boot application, we will be connecting to this H2 database, which is a relational database. And this particular uh, RDBMS is written in Java. Why is it called in-memory database? It is called so because it primary, primarily operates in memory, meaning that the data is stored in memory and not anywhere uh, persisted anywhere on the disk. So whenever uh, we save something, uh, this particular data will be stored in memory rather than uh, it being stored uh, elsewhere in the disk. So that's why it's called as, it's also called as in-memory database. Moving to next slide, we have application.properties. So what is this particular uh, file? So basically application.properties is a configuration file used for our uh, Spring Boot application. This particular application.property file allows us to configure various uh, aspects of our Spring Boot application without modifying the uh, source code. What I mean by this is we can mention the uh, required configurations for our uh, Spring Boot application uh, without uh, changing anything in our source code that contains the uh, business logic. This particular uh, proper application dot properties file follows a particular syntax that is a key value pair format where each line represents an individual configuration property. So in order to connect our uh, Spring Boot application, which is our CRUD application, as you can see here, if we want to connect this application to our H2 database, we need two things. One is we need a dependency that we'll have to mention in the pom.xml file. Uh, here, as you can see, uh, in the starting, we added the Lombok dependency, the web Spring Web dependency, and also the Spring Data JPA dependency. Along with this, now we'll have to also add a dependency related to H2 database that that helps us to connect to this particular H2 database. So uh, this is the dependency that uh, we we need to add in order to uh, connect to our H2 database. Um, you can find this in the GitHub uh, repo, which I have mentioned in the description and also I'll be mentioning uh, as a plain text in the description. You can find it there as well. I'll just copy and add this uh, dependency in the pom.xml file. So uh, the group ID is com.h2 database and the artifact ID is just h2 and the scope which I have given is runtime. And as soon as I added this particular dependency, you can observe uh, there was this thing popped up on the uh, top right of my screen, which says load Maven changes. A anytime a new uh, dependency is added, we just have to click on this load Maven uh, changes because uh, our Spring application, Spring Boot application has to download the required uh, things from this uh, dependency library, which we have mentioned. So I just click on that. And you can see here uh, resolving the dependencies and uh, downloading is everything is going on here. So now uh, that is complete. The second step we need to do is uh, mention certain uh, configurations in the application properties that we were talking earlier. 
so uh, let's go through a line this 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 code also will be present in the github repo and also as a plain text in the description you can uh, copy it from there i'll just copy it and uh, the application dot properties file will already be created uh, by your uh, by our spring initializer tool so if we go to resources you can find something called application prod properties here open that and just paste uh, the things which uh, i have mentioned in the description so uh, the first line says spring dot h2 dot console dot enable true with this configuration what it does is uh, it provides us a way to have the look and feel of our h2 database so if i go to uh, browser and type in h2 console this will uh, al that will allow us to look at whatever data or tables present in our database uh, so if this is enabled to true we can do that with our browser the next configuration is uh, spring.datasource.url this is uh, mentioning the url uh, that we that we are using for our h2 database and it is an in memory uh, database that is represented by this mem so if this mem is present it means that it's a in memory database and the name of the database we are giving it as test uh, db the third line of the configuration is uh, the driver class name so org.h2 driver is the uh, driver which is provided by h2 database uh, so we are just mentioning that in this fourth line we have a uh, username we are just setting the username and in the fifth line we are just setting the password of our uh, h2 database in the sixth line uh, we are saying the database platform to be h2 dialect h2 dialect uh, is also supported by the uh, h2 database it provides certain uh, sql syntax uh, uh, in using which we can communicate with our uh, h2 database so these are the two things that we uh, need one is the dependency h2 database dependency in the pom.xml file and these configurations in the application uh, properties file so this is all for this video if you have learned something new please subscribe to our channel and support us uh, if you have any questions suggestions or requests please let us know in the comment section below and don't forget to like the video see you in the next video